What's up guys, it is Fierce Dude here, and today for Christmas, I got this. And what is this you are, you may be asking, this is the UNSC Broadsword Midnight Strike. And also, I got a new tab. Sadly though, there is no camera on it, as you can see, so I'd have to record it like this, which is very, very hard. So, I'll, I'll probably only be doing a few videos with this tablet. Uh, so, first up, get him to a light real quick. This is Didact. I don't really know how to pronounce his name. Um, let me do something real quick. This might make the resolution better, and it might not. Is it gonna work? Mm, nope. It's made the resolution even crappier. So, um, Didact in Halo Campaign is basically the main enemy. Um, as you can see, he does not look like a regular minifig. There we go. Um, as you can see, he is way taller. And I'll show you. Here is the battle-torn Master Chief. Put him up there to scale, and look at that. Uh, Didact is actually the last known forerunner to be alive. But sadly, he was evil. And that's Didact. Um, I think a little complaint I have is that um, the orange doesn't really look good. I wish they kind of could make it, give it like more of a glow, you know, neon color. They just didn't really do that. Next up, we have the Battle Torn Master Chief. As you can see, um, you can only see by right there that he's kind of battle torn. Um, right now, he's holding a pistol and a grenade. Only complaints I have is that he doesn't really look battle torn, except for that part and like the hand right there. Uh, I wish I could just make him look more battle torn, but other than that, he looks pretty good. I've never gone to Master Chief, so this is my first Master Chief. Next up, we have Cortana. Uh, Cortana looks pretty good, except for the feet. Uh, there's no toes. It, this looks really horrible. And, uh, Cortana is a pretty good minifigure here. Another complaint that I have is that there's no ball joints. You can only have her in a set position. So, yeah. And next up we have the Broadsword. Midnight Strike. As you can see, I put all the stickers in it. Um, uh, you can only fit one person in the cockpit. And you get a little stand for it, too. Uh, we got it for $60 at Ross. Pretty good deal. Uh, you can shoot the missiles. Like that. And then you can remove this part up here. And in here we have a little weapon rack. As you can see we get a shotgun. We get the, um, the support gun. We get a rifle and we get an assault rifle. And then over here we have a little compartment for two more missiles. If you want to use this for transport, I guess you could take out the two missiles and just lay a Spartan down in there or something. I have no idea. Uh, I wanted a Pelican, you know, store my troops, but eh, this is good enough. Um, you can have all, you have all these folding parts here. Only complaint I have about it is that, um, is that there aren't a lot of black pieces to it. Um, it would make it more like midnight, you know. So, yes. Only complaint I have. Other than that, this is actually a pretty good set. It took me a long time to build. It was like the... It was 8 o'clock in the morning. Now it's like 5 o'clock. It took me 3 hours to build. Because I kept messing up and I had to redo a lot of parts. Uh, give you a view from the under. Oh, man. This is gonna suck. Okay, let me pick it up. If you can see right there... You got a little mini gun you can churn, and you have a little bomb there. So, if you wanna, so if you wanna make it like this is midnight strike is going on a bombing run, you can definitely do that. Just drop the bomb. It is actually very well stuck in there, so you have to pull it out. Make it look like a bomb is falling on Didact. <laughs> no. <sighs> no. Another thing I don't really like about Didact is that he kind of looks more like an action figure than a Mega Bloks figure. But still, a pretty good minifigure if you want to get for your collection. And you got a lot of extra parts here. So, that is going to be my review for the UNSC uh, Broadsword Midnight Hunter thingy. Strike, whatever.
uh, I think it's pretty good. Pretty good set for the price. We got it on sale $60. I don't know the original unit price. So, don't try to get it for me. So, thank you for watching. It's Fierce Tooth out. Peace.